The sucrose preference and novelty-induced hypophagia tests are established techniques for evaluating anhedonia. Their combination with the automated intake monitoring system allows a detailed analysis with high accuracy. This protocol reduces the incidence of errors by integrating spillage into the data analysis, preventing hoarding and reducing unintentional fluid loss. Additionally, the protocol makes it possible to assess the intake microstructure. This technique aims to meet the need for valid tests detecting anhedonia in rodents, considering the rising prevalence of depressive disorders. It can also be used to study antidepressive effects of drugs. When using the automated intake monitoring system, it is important to remember that it needs to be maintained and cleaned properly on a daily basis in order to provide accurate data. To conduct the training, close all gates and remove the food container and water bottle from the microbalances. Place pre-weighed food on top of the cage and document its weight daily. Fill a clean water bottle with about 100 milliliters of water and place it back on the hopper. Fill a second bottle with 100 milliliters of freshly made 1% sucrose solution and place it on the hopper making sure to mark the bottles and document their locations. Document the start of training in the monitoring system and open all gates. Leave the gates open for 24 hours, resulting...